Rover 220 Turbo Coupe, the most powerful Rover ever built, and the fastest ever production car produced by the Mark. The Coupe brings unprecedented power and style to the Rover race. With a top speed of 150 miles per hour, where the law allows, and capable of sprinting from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in just 6.2 seconds, the Rover Coupe's performance credentials are proven beyond doubt. But even when it's standing still, the Coupe is every inch a worthy Rover 200 series flagship. The stylish exterior is matched by a luxurious interior. From the burr walnut adorning the curved fascia, to the glass T-bar roof, the cabin of the coupe provides an environment like no other. Under the skin, the Torsen traction control system and the latest anti-lock braking technology enhance driver control and safety. While CFC-free construction, lead-free paint, and a sophisticated exhaust catalyst ensure that the coupe protects not only people, but the environment too. But early in the summer of 1992, two pre-production coupes looked very different as they were wheeled into a quiet corner of Rover's development department. The ambitious aim of the project, known internally as the Tomcat Affair, was to claim a series of speed and endurance records, with cars little modified from production models, as engineer Darren Hughes explains. Cars have been stripped down to a bare shell, everything taken off, checked and rebuilt, roll cages installed, a larger capacity fuel tank for the modified engine. Um, safety devices such as electrical fuel cutoff, fire extinguisher, proper racing seat and harness. And basically a real good check over the whole vehicle. Team effort is a key part of any record attempt, but is particularly so at Rover. Every member of the record breaking team has been involved with the development of the new car and they're keen to demonstrate its performance in a spectacular manner. The Rover 200 put on a family atmosphere. We're all proud of the new car. So everyone really wants to put this time in. We're working for the early hours of the morning, pressing the car. Throughout the development stage, we're all very excited with the car. So we think we could break some records with it, and we're going for the 24-hour endurance race. And we hope to pick up 25 records on the way. The final touches are made to the Rover 220 Turbo Coupes as zero hour approaches on the 29th of August 1992. The team moves to Millbrook in Bedfordshire, one of the few test tracks in Europe where cars can be driven continuously at maximum speed. The aim is to use one car to establish a new series of records, the standing star performance figures, while the second car will run flat out day and night, as Chief Engineer Steve Carter explains. Basically, we're going out to break all the records from a standing start and a flying start for 24 hours to the distance records and speed records, currently held by various competitors of ours. And the idea will be that we'll move those records something like 12 to 15 miles an hour against where they currently stand. That's against the uh, Astra, against the Bentley, BMW, Porsche, and Alfa Romeo. Zero hour and carrying the names of the 18 Rover suppliers who helped to provision and fund the record attempt, the two Rover Coupes set off on their test of endurance, speed and reliability. To break the 24-hour endurance record, the Coupe will need to cover over 3,200 miles. But with characteristic accuracy, the team of RAC timekeepers judge their tolerances to the centimetre and the hundredth of a second. Well, within the tolerances laid down by the RAC, you are allowed a ten centimetre run into the timing beam. If it's any greater than ten centimetres, that adds a hundredth of a second to the finished time at the end of the period. So if you go for a sprint or a hill climb, you still use the 10 centimetre tolerance, timing down to hundredth of a second. Up to maximum speed, and the Rover Coupes make an impressive sight as they rise up to the top of the banking. At maximum engine revs in top gear, they're nudging 160 miles per hour. That's pretty impressive for a production car. Equally impressive is the car stability even at over twice the motorway speed limit. Travelling at two and a half miles every minute 
the driver is still able to take a hand from the steering wheel to adjust the tickling fireproof ballot lava. As with all the record-breaking team, the drivers too have been closely involved with the development of the Rover Coupe. All 13 drivers, who will work in shifts to keep the record-breaking coupes on full throttle, are Rover test drivers. Normally, endurance testing the Rover products in an equally important, but rather more mundane way. The first routine pit stop and a chance for a quick check of oil and water levels under the bonnet as the drivers change places and the long-range fuel tank is filled. It's the first stop of many, and as every second counts, teamwork in the pits is just as important as behind the wheel. The first stop we did, that was a minute and eight seconds, and that put about 43 gallons of fuel on board. So uh, that's the sort of... Uh, wait that we can breathe through that. From what we've seen in the testing we've done, we should survive the 24 hours on one set of tyres. Um, Michelin have done a lot of work with us on tyre pressures and uh, geometry settings for the track. And basically they're confident. Uh, we've provisioned within the pit stop uh, to change tyres if we need to. But from what we've seen so far, there's no wear, no trunking or anything. So please. <laughs> Hour upon hour, the cars pound the move of concrete and the records begin to fall. Ten miles covered in just three minutes, 51.45 seconds, resting the record from Porsche with an average speed of 155.53 miles per hour. The one-hour record beaten Bentley by covering 144.91 miles. And the flying five-kilometer record covered in under 72 seconds at an average of 156 miles per hour. But the Rover Coupe is not the only new product on trial. For Alan Abercrombie of Michelin, going the distance here is the ultimate test of his latest tyre. Well, the new tyre that's fitted on the, on the car here is the Pilot HX, and it's one of a range of three tyres in the Pilot range, the SX, the HX, which we have here, and the CX. The tyres are uh, Z speed rated, which means that they are speed rated above 150 miles an hour, and therefore, you know, one has got that uh, huge... Uh, margin of safety, if you like, when the, when the person's driving the car. Hopefully most of the people in the UK are law-abiding anyway, and they, uh, they only ever go to 70. <laughs> the shadows lengthen, but the pace continues unabated as the record-breaking coupe heads on into the night. Through the dusk at over 140 miles per hour, the rover's pace continues unabated into the darkness, running reliably flat out the headlamps blazing into the night. Another routine stop, just fuel, oil and a quick check over. The coupe's reliability, a testament to the work of the rover engineers, many of whom are working as pit crew through the long night. But just as important on any long drive is the well-being of the driver. No fatigue problems here. The coupe's smooth ride, impressing even the experienced test drivers. The car's going very well, actually. It's going a lot better than I thought it was. I expected a um, popular ride, but I don't know what the type of pressure is going in. The Michelin boy reckon it's about 50 pairs high, I think. I thought it would be a quite a bumpy ride, but it's quite smooth. It's, it's quite comfortable, actually. It's, uh, it's no problem at all. <laughs> Past half distance and the records continue to fall. But even in August, you can't predict the British weather. 
and the record attempt hits a problem and spot descends on the Millbrook track. The drivers continue to run the cars as fast as the conditions allow, but as the visibility drops, so do the speeds. However, even in the fog, the rover is still lapping the track at over 130 miles per hour. It's very disorientating. I've already got the two lines to look at. It just seems like you're on a straight, flat road, and it's a bit disorientating. You've got to keep your wits about you to make sure you're still turning the corner. So basically, we flew the 2,000 miles, uh, and heading for 24, well, we might be heading towards the 24 hours and the 5,000 kilometres. Uh, it's now well, it's something to four o'clock in the morning. The fog has lifted a little bit. Uh, the guys that have done a good job have kept, kept going. Uh, the problem we've had is that the, the fog's been swirling about, so each lap has been different. Um, from where we are now, at least it's down to a certain level in Spain there, and the guys are still lapping around 145 miles an hour. Dawn on the 30th of August and the rover keeps up its rhythm on the Millbrook banking. Flat out in the clear morning air, the speeds are back up to 150 miles per hour and over 30 records have been broken. But there remains one ultimate hurdle, the 24-hour record, which means covering 3,200 miles and over 130 miles per hour. It's now that the fatigue and tension combine for the record crew. But as ever, teamwork is the answer. The people who prepared the cars for this event and who've been driving and maintaining them all the way through the night are the people who've designed, developed and tested the cars that the customer would be buying in the market. This car is entering a new market segment of the Rover. What this event really demonstrates that in both terms of performance, reliability and durability, this car is fit to compete with the best. The final hours and then the final minutes of the 24-hour marathon and Millbrook comes alive as the pits crew wait and the whole team return to the track. At last, the final lap of the track, and the rover approaches the checkered flag. The exhaust note, which has run day and night without missing a beat, dies away. But now, all ears are directed to the timekeeper's verdict. Have rover claimed the 24-hour record? In 24 hours, a total of 3,322 miles, 614 yards have been completed, at an average speed of 138.43 miles per hour, and in kilometers, 222.78 kilometers. The whole team's put a lot of work in, and I'm glad for everybody that we've achieved it. It's been about fog during the night, so I'm down a bit, but yeah, everybody's well pleased. Thanks for all the help, thanks for all the effort, thanks for the sponsorship. It's helped a wonderful project to a marvelous end. With 37 new records, including that high price 24 hour record, 3,322 miles at an average speed of 138.43 miles per hour, the Rover Coupe proves a record breaker from the word go.